to another edition of The Bullet Point. I'm Teresa Mull here with a special Second Amendment spotlight. We're here in my neck of the woods at Allegiant Holster Company with Travis C. and Ronnie, the owners of the company. So guys, why don't you tell us what you do here and what makes your holster so special? In the beginning, it was just making holsters for friends and family and it kind of kept going naturally on its own grassroots. and morphed into a part-time job that turned into a full-time job. Luckily, we were able to you know, leave our jobs and, and focus on doing this full-time. And we're a company that's based around holsters itself. I mean, it's in our name, that's what we do, but we've branched out into different things now. We have a, we're an SOT and an FFL, so we're getting into sales and transfers and things like that. We also you know, wholesale and retail different things for uh, different companies as far as accessories and products in the market. We're light years uh, from where we started with making holsters more into an automated process, CNC equipment and um, computer-aided design of uh, modeled holsters and things like that. So if someone were looking for a holster, why would they come to Allegiant? What do you guys offer that the other guys don't? We offer a lot of options, honestly. We have a couple different segments of things that we offer. Quick ship stuff, it's kind of your basic, you know, normal colors, blacks, standard belt clip options. We also offer the ability for them to completely customize down to, you know, the washer color, uh, the rivet color on their holster, designs, any, any option that they want to have, they can pretty much customize it. But we offer different styles of holsters as well, as far as concealed carry, like appendix, four o'clock position, a lot of o OWB or outside the waistband options as well. Um, it's range style holsters. We're pretty well known now for our appendix style holsters are pretty popular. We sell mostly inside the waistband and I would say range style holsters. And clear holsters. Yeah, so clear. Clear is a, yeah. a big one for us. We sell a ton of clear holsters. Are these Kydex holsters, plastic, both, or what's your... It's Kydex. They're all thermoformed. It's, I think I would say unusual and definitely refreshing to see young people in the small business world and not to mention the Second Amendment gun industry. You know, there's so many giants out there as far as products go for firearms. So can you talk about some of the challenges and the rewards that you face in starting your business? It's been tough. It's been tough to grow a niche in this market. Like you said, there are so many giants in the industry and we kind of got in at a, at a time where there was a lot of people that were also trying to break out and doing the same thing we were trying to do. We stuck with it and it was just repetitive over and over and over until we finally started to gain some traction and uh, built a grassroots customer base. Made some good decisions early on. We, we bought ahead a lot of materials and were able to stay running through the times where supply chains crumbled and everything dried up. So I'm fortunate in that aspect that we had the, the ability and the foresight to purchase ahead enough to, to keep moving forward through the whole thing. So I think one of the biggest challenges that we've probably faced is censorship, honestly. It's, it's a really tough market to promote your products right now on social media with the way that everything kind of gets hampered. It, and it was easier, I would say, in the beginning. It seemed like two weeks, like I said, after the election. It just, we just, and it's not just us. Everybody complains about it that we got hit pretty hard with the censorship. But we're, we're still hanging in there, even with the paid advertising on there. It's, pretty much gone. It's a struggle just to yeah. get your name and your brand and your products yeah. out there because they're just so anti-gun across mm -hmm. the board. Yeah, absolutely. It seems like you have a really nice following. People will probably appreciate that you're a small business, you're local, you're made in the USA. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, we hear that quite a bit actually from our customers. The, the, the ability that we have to actually still customize our, our relationship with a person at this point is it's still refreshing for a lot of people that they like to, you know, if they call and get a hold of somebody they can have a personal conversation with with a person where you know personalized response and an email back to someone and walk them through how to order yeah and we, explain everything yeah you know, it's a lot of time spent on the phone walking through yeah. with people <laughs> if they're trying to order something that's made that you know made for them customized there's a ton of different we have you know tens of thousands of SKU options with everything that we offer so and explaining everything to me you know gun owners is a big one mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot, of, understanding holsters. A lot of education mm -hmm. involved in it. What advice would you give to somebody who maybe has never carried a gun but they're interested in getting into some everyday carry? How would you advise them going about choosing a holster? You mentioned there's tons of options. How do they go about even getting started with that? One of the first things that if you're brand new and you have no experience whatsoever is you should seek somebody who does have experience. Whether it be a training class that's well vetted uh, for a family member or a friend who's you know well versed in this aspect of things, 
and spend time with them, ask them questions, have them go over some things with you, take a, take a class or two, get familiar with the fundamentals of gun safety before you do anything else. After you have that down and you make the leap from, okay, now I'm a, a firearm shooting person to I want to be a firearm carrying person. There's a lot of discipline involved in that, a lot of responsibility involved as well. As far as getting into it, like choosing a holster or something, it would be, if, you're, if it's not comfortable for you, you're not probably going to carry it. So trying to find something that might be comfortable, get on the internet, read some forums. People talk about things all the time on there, different pros and cons of carry positions, belt clip options. There's so many different things out there for belt clip options. That That's we, a big one. I mean, at the gun show over the weekend, I spent a lot of my time explaining belt clip options yeah. for concealed carry. And we actually have a blog on our website that explains what we offer. I let you, Travis, see as a woman, because our bodies are different, we wear different types of clothes, tend to have things that are a little more form-fitting, we don't have the longer torso. So what would you advise to a woman who wanted to get into carrying concealed? I would say, honestly, not to wear tight shirts, because no matter what, I don't think you're going to conceal it. Something flowy like this would be a good recommendation. I prefer carrying in inside the waistband a concealed carry holster with a concealment wing because what it does, it rotates the grip closer to your body for less printing. A lot of the smaller guns though, you're not going to have that, but like I'm going to say the Glock 43, Glock 19, something like that, you're going to want to carry with a wing if you're carrying appendix. The biggest thing you do is you answer questions about I do. garments garments and a like belt, pants. whether or not you're going to wear a belt. That's big. I, I prefer to wear a belt, but a lot of people I talk to don't want to wear a belt. So there's a couple options. We offer a mono block clip right now and an ulti clip. Those are very popular options for beltless carry. If you're wearing leggings, wear good quality leggings. I always say don't buy the cheap ones because no matter what, you're not going to, they're not going to hold it up very well. For gun owners, now is not the time to become relaxed. Now is not the time to sit back and think somebody else is going to take care of that. Plenty of rule changes that are proposed right now that are, would, would affect everyone. Don't think because there's a lot of comments on there that your comment doesn't matter. You should log on and let them know how you feel and, and how that's going to impact your life. Every single person's voice matters. And, and arm yourselves because yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we've seen riots, we're seeing yeah, defund the police, we see it's just craziness out there. So get yourself a good holster and yeah, there's, Use it. yeah, there's plenty of reasons why you should if you weren't before. We've had people that were completely anti-gun, kind of thought you were the crazy person if you carried a gun every day. Or when things really started going on, they were like, hey, can, can you point me in the right direction? Where can I buy some ammo? What kind of holster should I get for this? Well, I think you're a little bit late at this point. Like, you should have, should have been doing this a year ago or two years ago if you wanted to really be prepared for things. But Just normalize gun ownership. Yeah, really. You know, that's even... I, we post obviously on our business page all the time, but I put it out on my personal site too. So, little by little, you know, people accept it more. It's all about normalizing it and making sure that everybody understands what their responsibilities and the risk reward value of what, what you're trying to accomplish. All right, gunpowder readers and viewers, if you're in the central Pennsylvania region or maybe you could go out of your way, we're just off. Interstate 80, stop by and check out Allegiant Holsters here in Clearfield, Pennsylvania. And of course, you can check them out on social media and online at... It's just at Allegiant Holsters will, will get you to us on Facebook or Instagram. Instagram's probably our best best opportunity to connect with us. And AllegiantHolsters.com. AllegiantHolsters.com. <laughs>